this yeah. week on the lesson series, we are going to do something different. Ha ha. So uh, I don't know if you noticed, but last week I gave a lesson and it was basically a lesson that was recorded during one of my private lessons that I give. Um, and it was an exercise to help you just release tension and not have so much tension in your playing. I don't know if you're like me. When I first started, I was just, oh, I didn't know what to do, you know, <sighs> until I could get to, you know, where I can play without sitting there with every muscle in my body so tight. So at the last lesson that I gave, a uh, private lesson, we talked about ways to use that as a starting point to get some ideas thrown into that exercise that would maybe give us a new perspective on our Delta Blues, give us a little inspiration to maybe bring other sounds and other ideas to make it interesting, make it dynamic, create some excitement. All right, so part of this lesson was filmed at that um, lesson that I gave this week, that live lesson, so we're going to look at that. Now, to start with, this guitar is tuned to open D or Spanish tuning, and that is D, G, D, G, B, D. All right, so hey, let's run over and get a look at that. All right, so these ideas are to insert into the exercise I gave you last week, which was the... You can put all kinds of ideas in there, but this one in particular is kind of like a Hawaiian guitar sounding whatever. So, first two strings, strings one and two, you're going to go six, seven, and then you're going to play seven on strings two and three, and then you're going to play ten on one and two, six, seven on one and two, and then on two and three, seven, six, five. You're going to move that whole movement down a step, and you're going to go on strings one and two, four, five, five on two and three, eight on one and two, four, five, one and two, and then on two and three, five, four, three, and then you're right back into it. So it's kind of like, not the turnaround, but the climb down. That's how that works. So have fun. So you can see in that first example, we were throwing in a little bit of that Hawaiian guitar style um, just into it uh, to give us some nice, you know, uh, other nice types of flavors. And we can take that a little further. So let me show you the next example. All right. So I'm, I'm going to play this thing so you see where it kind of fits into. Okay. Um, and again, this is another one of those riffs you can throw into the other exercise from last week. So you would start normally. And then here comes the riff. And it leads right into C. So the, the riff, okay, is going to be on strings one and two. So 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 10, then on strings 2 and 3, 12, 11, 10, okay? And then on the next part of the riff, you're going to do some behind the slide. So you're going to be on strings 3 and 4 with the slide at the ninth fret, and you're going to take, I usually use my middle finger and go to the 8th fret on the 3rd string. And like I'd show you before, it's just like, like almost like an A minor chord, but you're using your slide so you can get that movement down. And then, so, 8, 7, 6, and then into C. It's almost like a lap steel lick. All right, guys, and as you can see from those examples, 
um, we also are getting into some behind the slide playing. So I want to give you a lick, and this is the final example. And that lick is going to be a lot of behind the slide playing. And I'm hoping that through this part of the lesson, um, as well as the others, you can get some inspiration to try some new things, try new techniques, try new sounds in your Delta Blues, okay? Because one thing about those players, they weren't interested in just sticking on the same sound forever, all right? Uh, because when they recorded back in the 20s and 30s, everything they were doing, those were new sounds at the time. So let's create some new sounds together. All right, so this lick is a course in G, and it's based around the G you could find if you put with your fingers and you had your third finger on the ninth fret on the fourth string, your first finger on the seventh fret on the third string, and your second finger on the eighth fret on the second string. Right? That's a G. Now, we're going to do some behind the slide. Let me show you the lick. All right, it's relatively short, but it gives you a chance to really get into some of this behind the slide play. All right, so the first note, we're going to go from eight to nine on the fourth string, and we're going to use the slide. Then we're going to take our first finger and play the seventh fret on the third string, and then the ninth and tenth fret on the third string, and then the eighth fret with our finger on the second string, and then on the second and third string, we're going to 10, 11, 12. All right. So that could fit in like. See how that throws in another way to transition back to that C. All right, and that's what all these licks are about, finding ways to move from one chord to another, right? Not necessarily becoming the best solo player in the world, which is great too, by the way, although I'm not there. Um, I know some of these guys and some of you guys watching are probably there, but I'm not. So anyway, one more time. All right, so we're kind of sticking with that Hawaiian guitar theme, but, you know, try other themes out. Try things out like... Right? I mean, that sounded terrible, but you get the idea. Go try stuff, just anything. Right? You know, anything. Get out there, try stuff, see what happens. And by getting your fingers behind the slide and incorporating the slide, you're going to make way, roads open that weren't going to be open to you before. New paths, right? So anyway, hey, I hope you enjoyed this. I have uh, put a link to the first lesson that I gave, that I, the exercise that I'm basing all of this off of, um, down in the description of this video. So go check that out if you didn't get to see that lesson. And if you have any questions, please hit me up. I'm, I'm here. I'm on YouTube, Facebook. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, any of those places you can get a hold of me. So, hey, enjoy yourselves.